Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about 10 things to do before driving a long distance. If you're planning on driving for 5 hours straight, 10 hours straight, or 10 hours per day for 2 weeks, you should do these 10 things before you leave. They will greatly help you when you are driving that long distance. Now let's get right to it. Number 1 is pack snacks. Now let's face it, if you're driving a long distance, that means that you're going to be driving a long time in the car. And if you constantly stop for snacks, you're going to be wasting a lot of time. You're going to add a lot of time to your commute. So with that being said, pack some snacks. And if you're worried about making a mess in your car, pack some clean snacks. There are lots of things that you can pack in Tupperware or in like Ziploc bags that are actually really easy to eat and won't really make a mess inside of your car. Okay, number two, bring plenty of water. Okay, now, like I said, you're gonna be thirsty. You have to stay hydrated because staying hydrated will keep you alert and awake. So bring plenty of water. Get five bottles of water, 10 bottles of water, and just leave them in the car. This way, when you're thirsty, you can just grab the bottle of water and start drinking it. And obviously, you can put it inside of your cup holder. So bring plenty of water, it will greatly help you. Number three, plan your route and your alternate routes. Now you don't need a full-fledged route and then like five different alternate routes. I just mean that if you know you're gonna be taking this highway uh, mainly for the long distance, then what happens if that highway closes down? What happens if there's a major disaster on the highway, major accident, and you can't go on that highway? Do you know of another highway? Now, this isn't as much of a crucial point now that we have GPS uh, you know, systems on our cell phones but still it's a good idea for you to have a, an idea of where you're going your route and your alternates because what happens if your cell phone loses signal or stops working you should know your route and then an alternate route in order to get you to where you need to go number four is to plan your stops now you can go and, and and go with the idea of you're gonna stop whenever you need to uh, but I would recommend that you have certain planned stops and you should know based on your car and your gas tank how many kilometers you can travel on a single gas tank now I would plan a stop that's well in advance of you running out of gas you I would plan a stop when you're at about a quarter tank of gas fill up at that stop do what you need to do and keep driving until you're at a quarter tank of gas again now I would plan the stops like this because if you go and you want to stop at this stop at a quarter tank of gas and it's closed down you have enough gas to get you to the next stop if you leave it to the last minute when you're almost out of gas what happens if that stop is shut down it's not working you know and so forth so it's just better to be safe you don't want to have any obstructions like running out of gas when you're on your long drive number five make sure that you are equipped with an emergency kit an emergency kit is a kit for emergencies and it is something that you cannot predict now I know you're probably thinking well there's unlikely to be an emergency well what if there is the point of an emergency kit is to prepare you for the things that probably won't happen but if they happen you want to be prepared so make a little emergency kit you can go and buy one but I would recommend just buying the materials for your emergency kit and making your own number one it'll probably be cheaper to buy the materials number two you're also probably gonna get better quality materials and number three you can actually customize your emergency kit and you can include or not include things that you need or you don't need number six leave a bit early if you've calculated that you want to arrive at you know your destination or at least your destination for that day at 6 o'clock p.m. and in order to arrive there at that time you have to leave at 8 o'clock a.m. I would I would leave half an hour earlier because the thing is if you encounter some traffic or some obstacles then you know you're gonna be pushing your time and you're gonna be fatigued you're gonna be tired this is especially crucial if you're driving for multiple days straight okay if you're driving for like five days straight 10 to 12 hours a day you should should leave a little bit earlier half an hour earlier this way it's easier to leave earlier than to arrive later so if you encounter something you know then you're prepared for it because you have that extra time and if you don't encounter anything then you're good to go because you'll just arrive a little bit earlier number seven 
check your vehicle's fluids. You want to just do a quick check of all your vehicle's fluids. Now the fluids are vital for your vehicle to run properly. So do a quick check of all of those fluids. Just make sure that they're topped up and where they need to be. And I would recommend keeping some spare fluids in your trunk as well. You know, keep a little container of oil, of engine oil. Keep some extra windshield washer fluid. Uh, keep some extra, uh, you know, coolant and so forth. Just in case. It's better to be safe than to be sorry. It's easier to have it in your trunk and you can easily access the extra fluids than to have to walk to the nearest gas station which could take you an extra hour or two to get to, to the gas station to pick up more fluids and then walk back okay it's as simple as that number eight make sure that you have a spare tire and also make sure that it's inflated so it's important to have a spare tire and the things the tools that you need to actually replace a, a flat tire with the spare tire so make sure you have the tools as well and make sure that it's inflated if you are driving and you get a flat tire having a spare tire will save you a lot of time in waiting for a tow truck or in waiting for someone to help you out have a spare tire make sure that it's inflated have the appropriate tools to put the spare tire on and make sure that you know how to put the spare Spare tire on so check your owner's manual and maybe do like a mock-up situation of you replacing a flat tire number nine plan for rest now some people go on these long drives and they just say I'm gonna rest whenever I'm tired and I don't think that's a good idea simply because you're gonna probably be more likely to push yourself to drive when you're fatigued and if you get tired now and the nearest stop is like an hour away then then you have to drive for an hour when you're tired which is unsafe and it's not a good idea so plan for rest figure out roughly how long you know it's gonna take you of driving in order to get tired and, and want to stop driving and then maybe subtract a little bit of time and plan for rest so that you start resting before you're overtired and last but not least number 10 clean your car I'm a person that has generally a messy car but if I'm gonna drive a long distance I clean the car because I'll tell you right now your environment will determine your level of comfort and if you are in a messy car and you're trying to find your water bottles but they're buried under all sorts of junk you know it's gonna affect your drive so just Clean your car. You can clean the outside of the car, but I'm really mostly talking about the inside of the car. Make sure that it's organized. Make sure that your bottles of water and your snacks are where they need to be. You know where they are. They're easy to access. You can find them easily. Make sure that everything is just nice and clean and organized. And that's basically it. In this video, I've gone over 10 things to do before driving a long distance. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. What are your tips of things to do before driving a long distance let me know down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one and that's all I have for you today thanks for watching